Hi, welcome to Support Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at matrices and we're going to look and see how we can use matrices to help us solve simultaneous equations. So we've got some simultaneous equations, 2x plus 9y equals 43 and 3x plus 2y equals 7. So we could use elimination or substitution to solve these simultaneous equations, but in this video, I'm going to focus on how we can use matrices to do it. So the first thing we want to do is whenever we're solving the simultaneous equations using matrices, we want to write it in this form, like we're using elimination, where we've got our x's and then our y's, so 2x plus 9y equals 43, and then 3x plus 2y equals 7, so we've got our x's and then our y's, like so. So we're going to write it in that format. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write some matrices down. The first matrix we're going to write is a 2 by 2 matrix, and that 2 by 2 matrix will contain the coefficients of the x's and y terms here. So our coefficients would be 2. Remember, a coefficient is the number in front of a variable. So in this case, the coefficients would be 2, 9, 3, and 2. So we'd write that matrix down. So our matrix we'd write down, our 2 by 2 matrix would be 2, 9, 3, and 2. Now in this case, all the coefficients were positive. If our first equation was 2x minus 9y, the coefficients would be 2, minus 9, and so on. And so in this example, all the coefficients are positive, but you'll see in my next example, some of the coefficients will be negative. So that's the first matrix we'd write down, that 2 by 2 matrix, which contains the coefficients of our x terms and our y terms. So 2, 9, 3, 2. Now the next matrix we're going to write is a 2 by 1 matrix, and that is going to be the matrix x, y. So because we're dealing with the variables x and then y, we're going to write x, y. Now if we think back to multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 1 matrix, we multiply the row by the column, and then the row by the column. So if we multiply this first row by the column, we would get 2 times x, which is 2x, and then we would do 9 times y, which is 9y, and then we would add them together, so that's 2x plus 9y. And then if we multiply the second row by the column, we would get 3 times x which is 3x and 2 times y which is 2y and add them together so that's why we've written this out because if you multiply these matrices together you would get this okay now that's going to then be equal to and then we would just write down what they're equal to so 43 and 7 so if you want to use matrices to help you solve simultaneous equations, the first thing you'd want to do is to write the simultaneous equations in this form. Now let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. So we've got the matrix 2, 9, 3, and 2, and that's multiplied by the matrix x, y, and that's equal to 43 and 7. Now if we want to solve a matrix equation like this, think back to the two other videos in Corporate Maths, which is solving matrix equations part 1 and solving matrix equations part 2. And if we wanted to solve an equation such as this, where we've got ax equals b, what we would do is we would multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of a. So we multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of a. And the reason we would do that is a matrix multiplied by its inverse gives you the identity matrix. So if we do the inverse of a multiplied by a, that gives you i, which is the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And then if we multiply that by x, you'd just be left with x. And that means that we would just get x is equal to. And remember, whenever we're multiplying matrices, it's important which order you multiply them in. So if you multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of a, that's going to go at the front. So that means x is equal to the inverse of a multiplied by b. So that means if we go back up to this equation, which we've got, if we multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix here, so if we do the both sides of this equation multiplied by the inverse of this matrix, on the left hand side, we'd have the inverse of this matrix multiplied by the matrix, and that would just give you the identity matrix, and then that multiplied by xy would just give you xy. And then on the right hand side, you'd have the inverse of this matrix multiplied by 43 and 7. And whenever you'd multiply those together, that would give you what x and y are. So that's how you would use these matrices to solve simultaneous equations. So, so let's do that. So what we need to do is we need to find the inverse of this matrix. So again, if you need to recap on that, go to corporate math. So we need to find the inverse of this matrix, 2, 9, 3, and 2. And there is a video on corporate maths which shows you how to find the inverse of a matrix. And just to recap it, so if we've got the matrix A, which is A, B, C, D, and we want to find its inverse, we do one over the determinant of that matrix. So to find the determinant of this matrix, we do A times D, and we subtract B times C, and then we do one over that value. And then we write down the matrix D minus B minus C, A. So in other words, we swap these two elements around, and we change the signs of these two. So that means that if we've got this matrix, 2, 9, 3, to and we want to find its inverse so let's just call it a to begin with so the inverse of a the inverse matrix would be one over the determinant so let's find the determinant so it'll be what we get when we multiply two by two so two multiplied by two and we're going to subtract nine multiplied by three so nine multiplied by three 
2 times 2 is equal to 4, so we're going to get 4 subtract, and 9 times 3 is 27. So we've got 4 subtract 27, which would be minus 23. So the determinant, the determinant of this matrix is equal to minus 23. So the inverse matrix would be 1 over minus 23. And then we're going to write down a 2 by 2 matrix, and this 2 by 2 matrix will be what we get when we swap these two elements around. Now they're both the same, so that's great, 2 and 2. And we change the sign of these two, so that's going to be negative 9 and negative 3. So if we had the matrix A, which is 2, 9, 3, 2, the inverse of that matrix would be 1 over minus 23, and then the matrix 2, negative 9, negative 3, 2. So let's just simplify this. So we'd have the inverse of A would be equal to, and instead of 1 over minus 23, I'm going to write minus 1 over 23, so minus 1 23rd. And then we've got the matrix 2, minus 9, minus 3, and 2. Now at this point, we could multiply each one of these elements by minus 1 23rd. So I could do minus 1 23rd times 2, minus 1 23rd times minus 9, minus 1 23rd times minus 3, and minus 1 23rd times 2 if I wanted to, and get that 2 by 2 matrix. Alternatively, we could leave it like this. And the reason I want to leave it like this is later on I'm going to be doing a multiplication. And it's easier to do the multiplication with the matrices if they are these integers rather than having fractions. So I'm going to leave it like this. So this is the inverse of this matrix A. So we had the matrix A, which was 2, 9, 3, 2. And the inverse of A is minus 1 23rd, 2, minus 9, minus 3, 2. Okay, let's go back to our matrix equation. So we had the matrix equation, 2, 9, 3, 2, multiplied by x, y is equal to 43, 7. Now to solve this, to find what x and y are, what we want to do is we want to get rid of this matrix, 2, 9, 3, 2. So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix. And the inverse of this matrix is minus 1 23rd, 2, minus 9, minus 3, 2. Now, whenever we multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix, it's important to remember the order. So this will go at the front. So let's write it all out. So we're going to have minus 1 23rd, 2, minus 9, minus 3, 2. Then we've got our left-hand side, which is 2, 9, 3, 2. And then our x and y. So that's just multiplying the left-hand side of this equation by the inverse of this matrix. And we now need to multiply the right-hand side of the equation by the inverse of this matrix. And remember that that goes in front, so it's going to be minus 1 23rd. 2 minus 9 minus 3 2 and then we've got our 43 and 7. Okay so we've multiplied both sides of the equation by the inverse of this matrix. Now let's look at the left hand side. So whenever we multiply 2 9 3 2 by its inverse this we're going to get that's equal to the identity matrix which is 1 0 0 1. And when we multiply that by the matrix x y we'll just get x y. So this left hand side will just become x y. And that's why we're doing it. That's why we're multiplying this left-hand side by the inverse of this matrix to just leave us with this x, y. Okay, and then in terms of our right-hand side, we just need to work this out. So we could do minus 1 23rd times each one of these elements and then multiply this matrix by this matrix, or we could multiply the two matrices together, the 2 by 2 matrix by the 2 by 1 matrix. So we can multiply these two matrices together, and then we can multiply by the scalar r minus 1 over 23. So let's write that minus 1 over 23 at the front, just so we don't forget it. And now let's multiply our matrices. So we're going to do our row times our column. So we're going to do 2 times 43. And 2 times 43 is equal to 86. That's going to be 86. And then plus. And then we've got minus 9 times 7. And minus 9 times 7 will be equal to minus 63. So minus 63. So we're going to have 86 plus minus 63. And we'll work that out. And that's what's going to go at the top of the matrix. And then in terms of what's going to go below, we're going to multiply our second row by the column. And if you do need to recap on these multiply matrices, there are videos in Corporate Maths for multiply matrices. And they go through how to multiply a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 1 matrix. So let's multiply the second row by the column. So we're going to do minus 3 times 43, and that's going to be equal to minus 129, so minus 129. And then we've got 2 times 7, and 2 times 7 is 14, so plus 14. Okay, now we just need to simplify this, so let's write this out. x, y is equal to minus 1 over 23, and then we've got on the top, 86 plus minus 63. Well, adding a negative means we're just going to take away. So we just need to do 86 take away 63. That's going to be equal to 23. Fantastic. And then beneath that, we've got minus 129 plus 14. So if we go back up 14, that's going to be minus 115.
And that's great. So whenever we multiply the matrix 2, minus 9, minus 3, 2 by 43, 7, we get 23 minus 115 as a 2 by 1 matrix. So we're going to do minus 1 over 23 multiplied by 23. So a negative times a positive is a negative. So it's going to be a negative. And then we've got a 23rd of 23. And a 23rd of 23 is 1. So it's going to be minus 1. And then we've got minus 1 over 23 multiplied by minus 115. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. And 1 23rd of 115 would be 5. So it's going to be equal to 5. And that's it. So whenever we multiply 23 by minus 1 over 23, that's equal to minus 1. And whenever we do minus 115 multiplied by minus 1 over 23, that's equal to 5. So that means that x is equal to minus 1. And y is equal to 5. Fantastic. So we've solved our simultaneous equations. So x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 5. So we have used our matrices to help us solve these simultaneous equations. And let's just check it. Let's substitute in our answers, our x equals minus 1 and our y is equal to 5 into our simultaneous equations. I'm, I'm going to choose the bottom one here. 3x, well, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, plus, and then 2 times y, 2 times 5 is 10, so plus 10, and minus 3 plus 10 is 7, and that's what we should get. So fantastic. So our answers are x equals minus 1 and y is equal to 5. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So our next example, we've got the simultaneous equations 2x plus 4y is equal to 26, and we've got 3x minus y is equal to 4. Now, we've already looked at one example, so this time we should probably get a little bit quicker whenever we're doing this. So first of all, let's write down our matrices. So our matrix with the coefficients so are going to be 2, 4, 3, and then we've got minus y, which is minus 1y, so it's going to be minus 1. And as I said earlier, sometimes the coefficients will be negative, so as you can see, it's just minus 1. And that's our matrix, so that's our 2 by 2 matrix with the coefficients. Now, we've then got the matrix, we've got x and y as our variable, so x and y, and that's equal to, and we've got 26 and 4, so it's going to be 26 and 4. So we have written our simultaneous equations as a matrix equation, 2, 4, 3, minus 1, x, y is equal to 26, 4. Okay, now we need to solve this. So to solve this matrix equation, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix. So the inverse of the matrix 2, 4, 3, negative 1. So let's find the inverse of this matrix. So I'm just going to go over to this side and I'm going to change ink to blue just so we can see that we're just finding the inverse of this matrix and we don't get confused with what we're doing. So let's call this matrix A. So let's say A equal 2, 4, 3, negative 1. So that's the matrix A. So to find the inverse of this matrix, let's first of all find the determinant. So the determinant, the determinant of A would be equal to, multiplying these two together, 2 times minus 1 would be minus 2. And then we're going to subtract what we get when we multiply these two elements together. So 3 times 4 is 12, so take away 12. So minus 2, take away 12 would be minus 14. So that means the determinant of this matrix is minus 14. Now let's find its inverse. So the inverse of A would be equal to 1 over the determinant. So so 1 over minus 14. And then we're going to write down the matrix where we swap these two elements around. So minus 1, 2. And then we change the signs of these two elements. So it's going to be minus 4, and minus 3. So that means the inverse of this matrix would be equal to 1 over minus 14, minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 2. I'm just going to write it in a slightly different way. I'm just going to bring the minus sign out in front. So minus 1 over 14. And then we've got minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 2. Now at this point, we could multiply each one of these elements by minus 1 14th. But you'll see later on that whenever we're multiplying the matrices together, that would mean that we're using lots of fractions. And it would just be easier if we left them as integers. So we've got the inverse of this matrix is minus 1 over 14, minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 2. So let's go back to our matrix equation, and we want to multiply both sides of this matrix equation by the inverse of this matrix. So we were just left with x and y on the left hand side. So that's going to be minus 1 over 14, and then we've got minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 2. And then we've got our matrix 2, 4, 3, minus 1, and x y. And then on the right hand side, remember the order is important, so we're going to have our inverse of this matrix at the front, so minus 1 over 14, and then minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 2. And then we've got the matrix 26, 4. So we've just multiplied both sides of this equation by the inverse of this matrix. Now the reason we've done that was we wanted to get rid of this, and whenever we multiply a matrix by its inverse, that's equal to the identity matrix. And whenever we do the identity matrix multiplied by xy, that's just going to leave us with xy, so the left hand side will just become xy. Now in terms of our right hand side, we just need to work this out and see what it will be. Now we could multiply each of these elements by minus 1 over 14, and then multiply by this matrix. Or in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the two matrices together, the 2 by 2 matrix by the 2 by 1 matrix, 
and then multiply each of the elements by minus 1 over 14. So let's multiply the matrices together. Let's actually just put the minus 1 over 14 in front, just so we don't forget it. And let's multiply the 2 by 2 matrix by the 2 by 1 matrix. So remember, we multiply the row by the column, and then the row by the column. So the first row times the column, well, minus 1 times 26, that's going to be minus 26, and then plus. And then we've got minus 4 times 4, well, 4 times 4 is 16, so minus 4 times 4 would be minus 16, so minus 16. And then beneath that, we're going to have minus 3 times 26. And minus 3 times 26 would be equal to minus 78. And then plus, and then we've got 2 times 4, that's 8. Okay, so we've now got to this. Now let's work out what the top element and the bottom element will be. So we're going to have x, y is equal to minus a 14th. And then we've got on the top, minus 26 plus minus 16. So when we add a negative, we go down. So we're going to go down another 16, so it'll be minus 42. And then beneath that, we've got minus 78 plus 8. That means we're going to go back up 8, so it's going to be minus 70. That's fantastic. Now we just need to work out what minus 1 over 14 multiplied by each one of these elements will be, and that will be our x and our y. So let's do that. So x and y is equal to, well, we've got minus times a minus. Well, negative times a negative is a positive. And a 14 for 42, well, our multiples of 14 go 14, 28, 42. Fantastic. So it's going to be 3. So a 14 for 42 is 3, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so it would just be 3. Fantastic. And beneath that, we've got minus 1 over 14 multiplied by minus 70. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive again. And if we just carry on our multiples of 14, that's going to be 56 and 70. So that's going to mean that y is equal to 5. And that's it. So we've solved our simultaneous equations using our matrices. We've got that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. So if we go back up, that means that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. And if we just test that, 2x, well, 2 times 3 would be 6. And then plus 4 times y, and y is 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. And 6 plus 20 is equal to 26, which is what we're trying to find. So fantastic. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to solve simultaneous equations using matrices. There's some of our skills which are very important for this topic. For instance, finding the determinant of a matrix, being able to find the inverse of a matrix, being able to multiply matrices together, and be able to solve matrix equations. And there's videos on all of those on corporate maths. I really, really hope you found this video useful. And if you have found it useful, please like and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.